Hey, this is Taylor with a couple of cool little email icons for you that you don't need to buy. Both of these can be knocked out perfectly and you can format them any way you like in less than a minute with a cool little PowerPoint trick that not a lot of people know about. On top of that, you can use this trick with a cool little tool that I'll show you how to set up in just a minute to knock out a bunch of other icons just like these to make your slides look more professional like this. So there's the phone, folder, and email icon. There they are again in a different order. And again, there's a single option. And this is the kind of stuff that you might accidentally spend a buck or two a pop on if you never realize that there are hundreds of icons like these buried on your computer that you can use for free. And just watch how easy this is. To knock out these email icons in PowerPoint, just navigate to the Insert tab, open up the Shapes Gallery, and first off, just draw a rectangle on your slide. There's no need to format it. From here, you wanna go grab a text box, just up in your ribbon, and you wanna draw it over your rectangle so that it bleeds off here to the right so that your text box doesn't snap to the rectangle. From here, you just wanna type the asterisk and plus sign into your text box. I'm gonna change the font size to 250 so it's a little bit easier to see. From here, you're just gonna, with your mouse, click into the font style input box, type wingdings, hit enter, and you're immediately gonna see the icons you want, but you don't wanna stop here. As of now, this is just an icon font, not an actual vector graphic that we can manipulate. To do this properly, you wanna first select the text box with your icons in them, then holding shift, select the rectangle behind them, drawing tools format tab, merge shapes, and select fragment, which will cut out these icons into fully customizable, you'll need to do a little bit of cleanup work here, fully customizable graphics that you can then do anything you want with. I'll just resize mine like that, Control Shift G to ungroup. From here to change the fill color, just come up to the drawing tools format tab. You can open up the shape fill. You can color these any way you like. You can even add some texture effects. For these, I'm gonna add a drop shadow like that. And you can see just how easy this clever little technique is, but it gets even better. The next little bit is where the real money to this technique is. But first off, if this is the kind of cool PowerPoint stuff you wanna see more of on my channel, please take a second and give this video a thumbs up here on YouTube. It's an easy click for you and lets me know what kind of stuff I should continue adding to my channel. Now to unlock all of the icons on your computer, you're gonna to wanna to set up a font cutter tool like this, or you can download mine directly beneath this video. To set this up yourself, you'll need a text box and a shape. I've added a handle to my rectangle to make it easier to grab. And within your text box, you'll just wanna add the 223 different character types, including the upper, lowercase letters, and all of these special characters here. Once you have that all set up, you can then take advantage of all the wingding icons, so scissors, bells, books, and other types of stuff. There's wingdings two icons, more pens. I really like these check mark and X's for my own slides. There's also a webdings, another loaded icon font hidden on your computer. In total, that's 886 icons that you can then cut out using the technique that I just showed you. On top of that, once you've set your tool up like this, you can then download other free icon fonts from around the web from sites like 1001fonts.com and cut them out, further saving yourself from purchasing a bunch of icons that you can otherwise get for free. If you don't wanna go through the hassle of setting something like this up yourself, I'll include a link in the description box to download mine, including some additional video instructions on how to use it, some icon fonts I recommend checking out, as well as the 886 wingding icons that I already cut out for myself. To grab these resources, just look for the link below in the description box. Again, icons like these can easily cost you a buck or two a pop, but in my experience, you can often find what you're looking for or something close enough to it for free using an icon cutter tool like I just showed you. To get mine already all made up, just look for the links below in the description box. This is Taylor from Nuts and Bolts Speed Training, and I'll see you at happy hour.